All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x from my left-hand side. Because as you can see, we have four of the same terms on my left-hand side. And the easiest way to go about th solving this equation is to factor them out. So I get 5 to the power of x times, well, 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is simply 1. So I get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1,000. And now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So I get 5 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1,000. Now, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000 divided by 4, which is 250. So from this large equation here, we got up to an equation that is significantly smaller. So we have 5 to the power of x equal 250. And just at first glance of this equation, we can tell that x is not going to be a whole number because we have 5 squared is 25, 5 to the power of 3 is 125, and 5 to the power of 4, this is going to be 125 times 5, which is 625. So the value of x is somewhere in between 3 and 4. Now to actually find the exact value of x, not just an estimate, what we're going to do is rewrite 250 as 25 times 10. And the reason I did this is because 25 is the same thing as 5 squared. So I get 5 squared times 10. And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 5 to the power of x is equal to log of 5 squared times 10. And this is the same thing as, well, log a times b is equal to log of a plus log b. So log 5 squared times 10 is going to equal log of 5 squared plus log of 10. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. I can move x to the front. And I have log 5 to the power of 2. So I can move 2 to the front. And I get x times log of 5 is equal to 2 times log of 5 plus log 10. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 2 times log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. Now, if you guys already know, log 10 is equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 2 times log 5 plus 1 over log 5. And this is the same thing as 2 times log 5 over log 5 plus 1 over log 5. So now these two log 5's cancel out. So I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. And although this is a, an exceptional answer, 
I'm, I want the exact answer, so I'm going to find the value of log 5. And log 5 is equal to zero point six nine nine meaning one divided by log of five is going to equal one point four three so two plus one point four three is three point one four three so I get three x is equal to three point one four three and this is my answer to this problem. And remember how we already said that x was going to be somewhere in between 3 and 4. So this proves us right. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 9 to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this equation, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 9 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And from here, I can divide both sides by log 9. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, I'm going to rewrite log 36 as log of 9 times 4. So I did this because I can use the property log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. In this case, this turns into log 9 plus log 4, and I have this over log 9. So now this is equal to log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9, which is equal to 1 plus log of 2 squared over log of 3 squared. And if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I can move 2 to the front over here, 2 to the front over here. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. From here, I can cancel out these two twos. So I get x equals 1 plus log 2 over log 3. Now, log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010. And log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So if I divide these two, I get x equals 1 plus 0 0.6309, meaning x is equal to 1.6309. So this is my answer.